Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Payroll tutorial video, I'll talk about backup and restore. Let's go to SQL Payroll. Now, normally, you do backup for SQL accounting is on daily basis, but for SQL Payroll, in my personal opinion, you do not need to do daily basis because you will not do SQL Payroll every day, right? What you will do is maybe end of the month, if you are monthly submissions or monthly payroll, then you do once a month will do. Unless you have daily wages employees, then you should do a daily backup. Basically, how to do a backup is very straightforward. It's just that go to your SQL payroll. Remember, if you are under a network environment and they are multi-user, everyone need to lock up first. So then you just go to your main PC or server just go to file backup database now for first time what you need to do you need to select the destinations where you want to store your backup file and normally we will create a backup folder or, or folder called sql backup it's under c drive for my case maybe for your case it's different folder or different drive so it's up to you so what you need to do is click on the three dot button look for the folder that you want to store my one is under C drive. I create a SQL backup folder. Then I click OK. Then OK. Done. So this is how you do a backup. Now, let's see. If you want to do second time, go to File, Backup Database, and you can see that it's already preset to the previous directory. So you do not need to reselect again. Basically, what you need to do is just go to File, Backup Database, and press OK. Very straightforward. So you cannot tell me that you don't know how to do backup it's impossible okay so after do the backup let's see what happened is under your computer c drive sql backup folder this is where your backup file is it's called your company name the date and also is sql pay you cannot unzip the backup file you need to restore in sql payroll system so even though you have this file you, you you try to unzip you will not get the data right and you can see that i will do all my backup together with my uh, accounting in the same directory no problem because it will separate to different company and date so to do a restore okay but before that remember once you do a backup in your co own computer you should copy it out into a external hard disk or pen drive meaning you should have at least two copy one in computer one is outside the computer because anything happened to your computer crash or, or, or attack by virus everything gone you still have the external you just need to restore back or your external backup file is have problem then you can restore using the pc backup file okay now we just open back to SQL payroll go back to your login screen the company name right hand side got three dot button click on it then you can see restore click on restore select the backup folder click on the three dot button look for it remember we are under C drive SQL backup folder and this is my backup file so I want to restore this particular backup file double click then OK remember I teach previously that you should not use the default database name reason being is because when you have we need to do support for you it's very difficult to identify PAY002 is which company okay you should put a short form for your company name if you are doing a restore I encourage you to put in the date as well okay because SQL restore will not replace your existing database but it will create another database so can you see there will be two syntax and which one is which we use the database name to identify is easier so once you restore you're able to log in if you check everything is in order then what you can do is you can go back to the company name three dot button the old one you can just right click drop database link this is important because 
so that your staff will not accidentally key into a wrong database. So some people, they, they, they today they key into A database and tomorrow key into B database. Why? Because both selection is having the same company name. So you click on the drop database. So what happened? The things will disappear, but in actual, the physical, the physical database is not deleted. So that's why I never encourage you to delete database, never delete database. Because you accidentally delete that everything gone. So you should drop database link and you can see that the database is still here. Just that you are not able to select it from SQL. Of course, there's way for you to retrieve back. That is by using the find database function. Then if you want, then you just click OK, then it appear again. So that's why do not delete the database, but just drop it will do. Okay, so basically this is how you do a backup and restore in SQL accounting. Uh, sorry, this is how you do a backup and restore in SQL payroll system. So if you are interested in SQL payroll or accounting, or want to sign up maintenance or switch your maintenance to me, no problem, just contact me directly. Thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.